Fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 11, problem solving. Compare volumes. Unlock the problem. Adam has a 50 has 51 inch cubes. The cubes measure one inch on each edge. Adam wonders how many rectangular prisms, each with a different size base, that he could make with all of the one inch cubes. Use a graphic organizer below to help you solve the problem. Read the problem. What do I need to find? I need to find the number of what? So what are we looking for, Xavier? Rectangular prism. Each with a different size base that have a volume of fifty cubic inches. What information do I need to use? I can use the formula volume equals length times width times height. Or I can use volume equals base times height. And the factors of, what are we going to do factors of, guys? What's the only number we know? 50. How will I use the information? I will use the formula and the factors of 50 in a chart, chart or table. That shows all of the possible combinations of dimensions with a volume of 50 what? 50 cubic inches without repeating the dimensions of the base. So over here they said if I had a height of 50, my base could be 1 times 1. Because 1 times 1 times 50 equals 50. Over here they said if my height was 25, I could have a base of 1 times 2 and get... 1 times 2 times 25 equals 50. They said I could also have a base of 1 times 5 with a height of 10 because 1 times 5 is 5 times 10 is 50. They also said I could have a base of 1 in 10 and a height of 5 because 1 times 10 is 10 times 5 is 50. They also said I could have 1 times 25 times 2 which gets me 50 or 1 times 50 times 1 equals 50. 50. So those are all the ones. What could be another factor I could have? Could I have a 2 in there? I could have 2 times what? Um, let's do our smaller increment search. We can do 25, but what else could I do? Could I do times 5? So 2 times 5 is 10, so I'd have to take, what would my height be? 5. So then I'd write 2 times 5 times 5 equals 50, and then I also heard 2 times 25, so what is 2 times 25? 50, 50 so my height would have to be Four. 1, and then I'd write this over again, so 2 mm -hmm. times 25 parentheses times 1 equals 50. 50. Okay, so is there any more that could go with 2? No. Can I use three? No. Four? No. Five? Yes. So I could do five times five, right? What would I have to take? That would be 25, right? So what would be my height? Two. Two. So five times five times two equals 50. What could I do for my bottom one? Five. 5 times 10. Put them in parentheses. What is 5 times 10? 50. 50, so times 1. Equals 50. So, what else do you need to do to solve the problem? I would need to use the table to count the number of rectangular prisms that could be made. Number two, how many rectangular prisms with different bases can Adam make using 51 inch cubes? 10 rectangular prisms. Try another problem. Mrs. Wilton is planning a 
planning a rectangular flower box for her front window. She wants the flower box to hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil. How many different flower boxes, all with a whole number of dimensions and a different size base, will hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil? Use the graphic organizer below to help you solve the problem. Read the problem. What do I need to find? How many rectangular flower boxes she can make with a different base that holds 16 cubic feet? What information I need to use? You know that the flower box needs to be a rectangular prism. The volume is 16 cubic feet, and we can use our formulas. Volume equals length times width times height, or volume equals base times height. How will I use the information? We will make a table to find the factors of 16. So we made our table. I just put mine over here so I had more room. We have our base column, we have our height column, and we have our volume column. And then we've started with the factors 1 times 1 times 16 equals 16, 1 times 2 times 8 equals 16, 1 times 4 times 4 equals 16, 1 times 8 times 2 equals 16. Can we still do a 1, guys? Can we do 9? No. 10? No. 11? 12? 13? 14? 15? 16? Yes. So we can do... 1 times 16, what would I take that times? 4. 1. So then 1 times 16 times 1 equals 16. 16. So now I'm going to move to my 2s. Two. Can I do... Um, now, technically, I could put 2 times 1, but have I already used that up here? Yeah. Yes. So we've already used that, so we're not going to use that. Okay? Now, can I use 2? Yes. So 2 times 2 gets me what? 4. 4. four. So 4 times what gets me 16? 4. 4. So over here, 2 times 2, parentheses, times 4 equals 16. Okay, can I use another factor of 2? Yes. Can I do 3? No. Nope. Can I use 4? Yes. Yep. So parentheses, 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is what, guys? Eight. 8, so 8 times 2. 2, so 2 times 4 times 2 equals 16. Why are we putting these things in parentheses? So we know what's grouped together, right? Okay, to find the base. All right, can I do another 2? Yes. Okay, we already did 4. Can I do 5? No. 6? No. 7? Eight? Yes. Yep. So two times eight. Two times eight is what, guys? Sixteen. Sixteen. So uh, what would be my height? One. One. So two times eight times one equals sixteen. <laughs> Can I do any more twos? <laughs> my only other factors of sixteen are sixteen. So can I do 2 times 16, guys? No. Because then I'd be over. So we're done with 2s, right? Is 3 a factor of 16? No. Is 4 a factor of 16? Yes. So I could do 4 times what? 4. Well, we could do 4 times 2, but have we already used that technically? Yes, it's just written as 2 times 4. So 4 times 4. Okay. Which 4 times 4 is what? 16. 16. So, oh, is 16. So then the height would have to be what, guys? 4. 1. So 4 times 4 times 1 equals 16. Now, basically, I've hit where they're the same factors, right? Okay. So technically, yes, I could do couple more, but I've already done them. They're just written in a different order, right? Okay, so we're done. So how many flower boxes with different size bases will hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil using whole number dimensions? So how many did we come up with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? So 9 flower boxes could be made for 9 different ones.
Sharon and show, Mr. Price makes cakes for special occasions. His most popular sized cakes have a volume of 360 cubic inches. The cakes have a height of or thickness of 3 inches and have different whole number of leaves and widths. No cakes have a length or width of 1 or 2 inches. How many different cakes each with a different size base have a volume of 360 cubic inches? First, think about what the problem is asking you to solve and the information that you are given. Next, make a table using the information from the problem. Finally, use the table to solve the problem. So basically, we know in this case, every single height is what, guys? Three, right? That's never going to change. So we don't have to find a different height ever, okay? So it's always going to be three, and our number out here in our base can never be a one or a two, correct? Okay, so the height. The height is 3 inches, the volume is 360, and then there will never, no cakes will have 1 or 2 inches in it. So we will never have a 1 or a 2 in there, okay? So if we'll never have a 1 or a 2, we would start with what? 3, right? And then we automatically know 3 times 3 is what, guys? 9. So what would you have to take times 9 to get 360? Not 4, but 4D, right? So then my volume would be 3 times 4D times 3 equals 360, okay? So then once again, we know our height is 3. Could I use 3 again? No. So now I'm going to move up to 4. four. So I know 3 times 4 is what? 12. So how many times would 12 go into 360, guys? 30 times. So now my new volume is 4 times 30 times 3 equals 360. Now I need to do... I know my height is 3 because it never changes. I know I can't use a 1 or a 2. And then now, can we go up to 5? Yes. So 5 times something will get me 360. So 5 times 3 is what? 15. What would I need to multiply then to get 360? Twenty-four. So five times twenty-four times three gets me three hundred sixty. Okay, so I have three again. Can I use six? Yes. So, 6 times something. So, we know 6 times 3 is what, guys? 18. 18. What times 18 would get us 360? 18 times what gets us 36? 2. So, you add a 0. So, 20. So, 6 times 20 times 3 equals 360. Okay, so we finished off our chart then with a couple more things. So how many did we come up with? We came up with one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many different types of cakes could they make? So six, six cakes, right? So six different types of cakes.